everyone just adding a quick intro to my video to share with you what we're going to be making so I made these love like Tatek notebooks using my downloadable and um, the details on that will be in the video this is free to download for anybody who would like it and I've made these Tatek notebooks they're fantastic I'm going to show you step by step how to make one so this is like a, the front page topper using the guest check inside we've got a paper for writing and then at the back we have got a little tuck spot okay so get comfy and uh, enjoy the tutorial hello everyone Amanda here thanks for joining me so today I'm gonna try and come up with something using these guest checks you can find these uh, free to download over on my Kofi site the links in the description box below so I'm going to make something out of them so they're free uh, so I'm going to use just bits and bobs of what I've got left over and I'm going to use um, these um, which are from a sales book that um, I've had sent so I'm going to come up with some kind of little notepad to go in a journal I'm creating so first of all I'm going to give these um, a bit of colour I think I'm going to use tea dye and I'm just going to because I just did them on a white background so that anybody could make them whatever colour they wanted. Um, not everybody wants everything, you know, vintage looking. Um, you know, so uh, left them white so you could do what you wanted. So I'm just uh, going over mine with tea dye. You could spray them with some... Um, you know tea in a in a spray bottle or coffin and uh, change the colour that way if you wanted I, I wouldn't depending on what kind of printer you've got I wouldn't recommend dunking them in a bath of tea or the ink might run but it depends what kind of printer you've got if you've got a laser printer you're fine so that's that one okay I don't know if this is going on a bit heavy do I? might be better using this soft brush Let's have a look. Oh, that's a bit of a lighter covering with the with the soft brush, blending brush, rather than the traditional distress ink tool. Just give the back a bit of colour. Although I may well end up gluing the back to something yet, I don't know. Um, so what I'm also going to do is just, you'll have to excuse me, let me just roll my sleeves up. <laughs> I'm a bit cold so I've got my uh, my dressing gown on. It's Some people call them house coats, don't they? I like that idea. It's a house coat. Dressing gown makes it sound like you're lazy and you're, you've not got dressed. You know, you've got out of bed and you've not got dressed. Um, I am fully dressed, <laughs> don't worry, I'm just, uh, uh, it gets quite cold in here because it's, my craft room is at, right at the front of the house downstairs and um, the sun is around the other side of the house so it can be a bit cool in here, even in summer, which in summer is lovely, but uh, the rest of the time it can be a little bit chilly. I'm not putting the heating on. I'll <laughs> put layers on. <laughs> right. I'm not putting the heating on in me. It's not happening. Not unless I'm really cold. But. So. Anyway. I think I'll do two on camera with you. And then I'll do the rest when I finish filming um, so so they're nice and distressed on the edges so I'm just going to make the, those edges a little bit darker and basically I'm playing for time because I've absolutely no idea what I'm going to make so it's one of those um, switch it on and see what we come up with kind of videos I've got a kind of idea you know of a basic notebook design but how I'm going to use up some of this and do some layering and make it look nice right so 
first of all let me pick some papers to go inside now we don't want too many because I want it to slip in a pocket or a tuck so that's like sign language for pocket and that's sign language for tuck <laughs> not in real sign language in a mandaland um, so shall I leave in these bits I'm gonna leave in the these bits because I, I think you can write on them Shall I leave them in? Right, yeah, I'm leaving them in. And what I've done is, I've taken them apart carefully so that the perforated part there at the top still there. So I'm going to reconstruct them and then whoever uses them, if they so desire, can rip them off. Uh, you know what I mean. So we've got one, two, three, four. If I do six sheets, which is three of these, I think, uh, how thick's that? All right, we'll, we'll do another one. I don't want them too thick because obviously when you're adding things to journals, you don't want them um, to be too heavy. But then again, you want them to be you want them to be useful. So what have I got there? One, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Right. So I've got four sets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do the same for both and I'll put those to one side and I'm going to make a big batch of them. Um, right, so this is slightly smaller than that. So I'm going to make a flap that goes over and then stick that on. So I want them to fit this and not the main part. Right, so let's have a look. What have I got here? So I've got cardstock I could use, but I don't know if that's just a bit uh, rigid, sturdy. Right, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We will use some packaging paper. Let me just think. Will we? I want it to be light at the back, don't I? Let's use some, let's use some of this for the back, alright, which is just tea dyed paper and then again that can be written on. So I'm not even going to use my trimmer for this, I'm just going to rip it, okay. Okay, dokily, let's have a think, yeah. That's that bit. Then we're gonna have a flap over the top with this on. So shall I use packaging paper? I'll use this brown packaging paper. I think uh, it'll be a bit lighter weight than using cardstock. So again, I'm just gonna very roughly rip it to size. So there's no measurements. You just making it to fit and this is a good way to use up some of that Amazon packaging I've got loads of it because <laughs> they do like to send the tiniest little thing in great big boxes I shared on my Facebook the other day they sent me a huge box and all that was in it was this tea ruler and it was massive but I've got heaps of this packaging paper so uh, Every cloud has a silver lining. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I, I what am I going to do? I'm going to create a bit of a topper so that I can... Let's have a look. What's this? So that's going to go over. I quite like a topper so that if I wanted to, I could stick some up the back. So we could make the topper out of the card, couldn't we? Or shall we just use this? Oh, well, you just use this what's on my desk. Right, so that's that. Then I'm going to have some of this as a topper. You know, literally on the top. Right, let's have a thing. So, that's how wide my paper is. So, which way up is this? This is just French script paper. 
left over from my the sample kit that I used recently kicking about on my desk so I'm just gonna rip that yeah and then what am I gonna do <laughs> I'm going to make a, let's have a look, so I'm going to make a topper that goes around and then goes on the back as well as the front so that on the back there you could either hang it on a pocket or use it as a tuck spot. So that's what we're doing. Okay. So I want it about there. If I have it quite substantial then you can tuck a little tag behind it. Yeah. And then on the front it doesn't need to be too tall on the front, it's just a topper. Okay, so we'll go like that, maybe. Main shot. <laughs> I think I need to zoom out alright a little bit, hold on. There we go. Alright, so I'll just go the width of my ruler. Right. Let's get that inked up and we'll use. Uh, get me the other tool. Vintage photo. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's get my bundle back together. Let's move all of this. So here's my little bundle with my backing page. Let's get it all back together neatly. And then that's going to be my front layer that I'm going to lay my guest check on in a minute. This is a little topper that's going to hold it all together. Okay, with more at the back. Let's have a look. Does that want to go underneath like that? It could do, that would look nice, wouldn't it? Right, so let's just reduce the size of this a right little bit. Okay, before I stick anything together, I'm just going to work out what I'm doing because I may well want to sew some things. Right, so now that could go just slide under there like so, up to the line and layer on there. Yeah, okay, so let's just... Re-ink that. Okay. And I'm going to ink this. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to maybe layer some other stuff on there and then we'll sew it. So let's have a look what we could add on there. What we could... I like these little labels. We could have this little label, couldn't we? That's cute. Little label. Is that adding anything to it? I don't know if that's adding anything. Whether that's making any difference. Oh, it is there. Right, let me just fold it in half. We just filled it nicely. Filled it nicely. Okie dokie. I'm literally using up scraps off my desk now. Alright, bit of glue in there. Okay, add that on there. Okay. So that's on there now. Okay, do we want to layer? What have we got? What have we got laying about? Let's have a look. Let's have a look what we got lying about. Papers, graph paper. I quite like this bit of graph paper. Is that long enough? Quite like that. Layer that under there, right, peeking out, just a right little bit, that's nice, I like that. Ok, 
Okay, and then what else have I got laying about? What have I got? What's these? Mm, this is pretty, isn't it? Let's have some of this. I've been watching a lot of Bohemian crafts and she uses a lot of this kind of what is normally waste. I think she I think hers are off like old printer paper when you rip the sides off and it's all perforated and it's got holes. I think that's what she uses, but it, it just always looks ace. Just lay it up, stay there. So I'm gonna glue that that way. Or shall I leave it on the bottom? Like that. I'm not sure now. I don't know if that's wide enough. No, it is, it's wide enough. It's fine. I just need to make this a bit darker. Alright, uh, let's get these layered up. Just a little bit of glue. Layer that on that. And then we're going to layer that on there. Have it peeking off the edge. Off the edge a bit. Too much glue there. Blimey. I'll just wipe it on my dressing gown, that's fine. And then we'll have a little bit of glue on here. Like so. We've got our lovely layering. It's pretty. Okay, let me just get it so it's kind of central. So I want to sew that, but that glue is wet still, so let me just cut this straight. Let me get it all lined up before it dries, because it's wonky, wonky donkey. Hello. Right, so I want this a bit darker. got a couple of journals on the kind of horizon that I'm making. Right, I'm just going to go and I'm going to sew around this and I'm going to sew around this just for a bit of added interest. I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I've sewn all around my little topper with some fancy zigzag and I've sewn all around that bit. Now, um, I'm going to, shall I cut the threads off or shall I leave them? I don't know, some people really like them, don't they? I'm just going to cut them a bit, I think. They're just... I always have my threads way too long on my sewing machine. I'll just cut it a bit. Right. So now we need to put it all together. So. I haven't figured out how I'm doing that yet, neither. <laughs> but. Let's have a look. I think um, so that's going like that yeah that's gonna just slip underneath isn't it yeah okay let me just line it all up Lined up at the back. Yeah. That looks nice and tatted, doesn't it? I like that. Okay, so how are we gonna close it up? Let's have a think. I could use my. Let's get some. Yeah, I'm gonna make some rivets. Not rivets. I don't know why I call them rivets. I annoy myself. The violets. These. If they'll work, they don't always work these ones, I need to get some more. Okay, so 
just going to hold it all together with a little bulldog clip. In fact, that looks cute, doesn't it? We just sat on. <laughs> but there would be a bit bulky in my journal, unless it were right at the top. That does look cute though. I mean, they're like far for a pound. Let's have a look. So I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do it by eye. I'm not bothered about the spacing really. It's just a little notebook. If I do one about there, yeah, but I want the, I'll set the depth the same, so then the line up one there, get out, and one about there. What do you think? It's about right, isn't it? Hold on. It doesn't look like it's lined up. Let's just do it, it doesn't matter. It's just a notebook, it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. Right, and then I'll do my eyelet. Let's see if it'll squish. I'm in chat. <laughs> see if it'll squish. My ring light's not glary today. I am saving up for a different kind of light for my videos. I've seen one um, and they're like square instead of a ring and the bits are the bigger and they've got like a filter on them so that it gives you the light and it glows but it's not glary so it's not as reflective on your surfaces because I, if I didn't have my glass mat I'm such a messy crafter I wouldn't cope Is that? Yeah, that's held um, I wouldn't cope, <laughs> just be a mess. Right, so then what you can do, let's have a look. You can have it hanging over a pocket, over a page, I mean, like that. Which is quite cute, isn't it? Or hanging over a pocket, I quite like that, actually. Or you can slide it in and then use that as a tuck. What shall we do? We slide it in and have it as a tuck. Because if we're going to have it as a tuck, I'm going to glue, glue them two pieces. Can't decide. I think I'm going to glue it in. I'm not over keen on things hanging off of pages um, that are just slotted because I always feel like they're just going to fall off. So I'm going to just glue the sides there. Could have sewn it, but you can be sewing everything for the sake of sewing, can't you? And I'm not really into that. <laughs> not into doing stuff for the sake of it. And then I really would like some twine or something across there. Let's see if I've got anything. I bet I haven't. I need like some jute. Some of that hairy stuff. Let me just have a quick look. I've got string. I've got this. That's nice. I've got this green one. Might actually use this. Because that's like matches the flower, doesn't it? This is just decorative, isn't it? There's no real. Let's cut it there. No real reason for it. It's just for fancy, and I've had this stuff hanging about. It's nice and soft for goodness knows how long. Donkey's years. <laughs> Literally. I'm not even kidding. Right. And I'm just going to tie it in a decorative knot. I'm not doing a bow with this stuff. Because it, it twirls around and it doesn't sit nice when you put it in a bow. So I'm just doing it in a double knot. Like that. And then I'll just trim the ends. And it's just decorative. Just a bit of extra colour, isn't it? Just lifts that a bit. And I do like red sort of tones with vintage um, style stuff and you could hang a little charm off there if you wanted and go that little bit further shall we? <laughs> it's a bit extra for a notebook isn't it but yeah so then whoever uses it can, can rip those off or just uh, write on it I think these long bits are going to have to go that's annoying me I'll just have it on one side and then it's not too annoying no, that 
I don't know, do you think I should leave the threads? No, I'm just gonna leave them just in the bottom that I find it I find it distracting. So you could slide that and have that little knot in the middle. Um, I kind of like them to one side for some strange, bizarre reason. Right, so that's probably taken far longer than it should have done. Um, so now the next one, I'll just repeat it and replicate it. And I'll have quite a few of these ready to go in no time. So I showed you how to do that one. You'll see the rest of them in the thumbnail when I load the video. Um, and then I'll probably share them on Instagram. I might add a charm on there yet. Yeah, we'll see. Or put a hole there and add a, add a charm there. I'm not sure. We'll see. But video's long enough. <laughs> so you get the gist, don't you? Go and have some fun. Don't forget this is free. And the rest I've just used bits and bobs. <coughs> if you don't have eyelets, just punch holes or just sew it straight across. Whatever. I'll glue it. Um, Alright. And also, you know, it did look nice with that on as well. So if you've got some of them, there you go. Boom. You're good to go. Alright. Thanks for watching, hope that helps. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Toodaloo.